So I've learned a lot from um, professional development initiatives and workshops organized by the Center for Teaching and Learning at UNC Charlotte. I've been a part of their Active Learning Academy for the last five years and through that academy I've had the opportunity to interact with other faculty members who are engaged in active learning and I've learned a lot of ways to engage students in the classroom. I've also attended a lot of workshops related to uh, the use of tools and technology like Canvas, Poll Everywhere, etc. So in this class, one of the most important things for me to do was to maintain consistency in feedback and grading for these students. I teach my class in a flipped manner, which means students uh, get lecture content delivered to them outside of class, and in class they engage in activities with other students in the classroom. I have multiple TAs, and it's very important for me to ensure that there's consistency in grading across the TAs, across all submissions, and so on. So there's a few specific things that I do that I learned from uh, workshops organized by CTL. I make sure that I use Canvas Autograder wherever I can. Um, second of all, I use very detailed rubrics in Canvas. This way my TAs have a place where they can look at to see exactly what to expect from the students. The third thing I do is that I use vertical division of grading, which means that a single TA is assigned to grade all submissions for a given assignment. That way, any subjectivity that they may bring into the grading is at least applied consistently across all students in that particular assignment. So having one TA grade a particular assignment gives the students a single point of contact if they have any questions about that particular assignment, which helps them a lot. Having a consistent turnaround time for our grades, that is a weekly turnaround time, helps students know on a weekly basis where they stand in the class and several students have expressed that this helps them keep track of their progress and see what they need to do better to catch up if they're behind on some grades.